Hey YouTube, this is Brendan with QZAC Prep, and in this video we're going to be describing how to solve problems using order of operations. Now order of operations is just the set of operations that you go through, as well as its order, uh, when you're solving kind of simple equations that just have numbers. So let's say we wanted to simplify this expression up here. Well what we do is we follow PEMDAS, and you might remember PEMDAS stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So starting with PEM, the P, we're going to work through what's in parentheses first. Now since 4 minus 7 in parentheses, we're going to turn that into negative 3. We're also going to go ahead and take this 5 plus 9, and we're going to turn that into 14. Now you might say 5 plus 9, well that's not in parentheses, Brendan. Uh, but we know that anytime you have a fraction, there are what are called implied parentheses around the numerator and the denominator. So let's just kind of assume there's parentheses here and here. Uh, there's nothing to do with the 2, so we just leave it as such. And then this is going to be times 3. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to deal with exponents. So we can see that this exponent up here, that negative 3, is squared. So we're going to go ahead and turn that into a 9. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and simplify this 2 over 14 to 1 divided by 7. Negative 3 squared is 9, and times 3. Now what do we do when we're multiplying fractions? Well, we multiply straight across the top, and we multiply straight across the bottom. So 9 is the same as 9 over 1, and 3 is the same as 3 over 1. So multiplying straight across the top, we come up with 27 and multiplying straight across the bottom, we come up with 7. And that's how you would solve a problem like that. Now the next problem might look a little bit intimidating because we have multiple sets of parentheses, but you just kind of have to remember that you really work from the inside out. So we want to start with the innermost parentheses, and then we're going to work our way out as we go. So step one here is I'm going to simplify this 4 minus 3. and that's just going to give me 1. Now we think, okay, well we have to deal with what's inside of these parentheses. Well, when we're dealing with what's inside the parentheses, we first multiply, because we can multiply this 2 times this 1, and then we subtract, so we would do 9 minus 2 inside of that set of parentheses. So we're going to have 18 divided by 2 times 7 minus 6. Now once we're at this point, order of operations, uh, multiplying and division, they're really equal to each other. You really just go from left to right. So addition and subtraction are considered equivalent, and multiplication and division are also considered equivalent. So what I would do here is I would first do 18 divided by 2, which is 9, and then I would have to do 9 times 7, which is 63, and then I would have to subtract 6, which is going to give me 57, and that would be my final answer. And that's how you deal with kind of a few basic order of operations problems. Thank you for watching. 